Joshua chapter 12. Now these are the kings of the land, whom the children of Israel struck, and possessed their land beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise, from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon, and all the Arabah eastward, Sihon king of the Amorites, who lived in Heshbon, and ruled from Aror, which is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the middle of the valley, and half Gilead, even to the river Jabbok, the border of the children of Ammon, and the Arabah to the sea of Chinaroth, eastward, and to the sea of the Arabah, even the salt sea, eastward, the way to Beth Jeshemot, and on the south, under the slopes of Pisgah, and the border of Og king of Bashan, of the remnant of the Rephaim, who lived at Ashtaroth and at Adre, and ruled in Mount Hermon, and in Seleka, and in all Bashan, to the border of the Geshurites and the Machathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon king of Heshbon. Moses the servant of Yahweh and the children of Israel struck them. Moses the servant of Yahweh gave it for a possession to the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. These are the kings of the land whom Joshua and the children of Israel struck beyond the Jordan westward, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon even to Mount Holic, that goes up to Seir. Joshua gave it to the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions, in the hill country, and in the lowland, and in the Arabah, and in the slopes, and in the wilderness, and in the south, the Hittite, the Amorite, and the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, the king of Jericho, 1. The king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, 1. The king of Jerusalem, 1. The king of Hebron, 1. The king of Jarmuth, 1. The king of Lachish, 1. The king of Eglon, 1. The king of Gezer, 1. The king of Debir, 1. The king of Geder, 1. The king of Horma, 1. The king of Arad, 1. The king of Libna, 1. The king of Adullam, 1. The king of Makeda, 1. The king of Bethel, 1. The king of Tapua, 1. The king of Heper, 1. The king of Aphek, 1. The king of Lasaran, 1. The king of Madon, 1. The king of Hazor, 1. The king of Shimron Maron, 1. The king of Akshaf, 1. The king of Tanakh, 1. The king of Megiddo, 1. The king of Kadesh, 1. The king of Jokneam and Carmel, 1. The king of Dor in the height of Dor, 1. The king of Goyim in Gilgal, 1. The king of Terza, 1. All the kings 31. Joshua chapter 13. Now Joshua was old and well advanced in years. Yahweh said to him, You are old and advanced in years, and there remains yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that still remains, all the regions of the Philistines, and all the Geshurites, from the Shahor, which is before Egypt, even to the border of Ekron northward, which is counted as Canaanite, the five lords of the Philistines, the Gesites, and the Ashdodites, the Ashkelonites, the Jatites, and the Ekronites, also the Avam, on the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miara that belongs to the Sidonians, to Aphek, to the border of the Amorites, and the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon, toward the sunrise, from Baal Gad under Mount Hermon to the entrance of Hamath, all the inhabitants of the hill country from Lebanon to Misrephith Main, even all the Sidonians. I will drive them out from before the children of Israel. Just allocated to Israel for an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. With him the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond the Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of Yahweh gave them, from Aror, that is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the plain of Medeba to Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, to the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan to Seleka, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth and in Adre, who was left of the remnant of the Rephaim, for Moses attacked these, and drove them out. Nevertheless the children of Israel didn't drive out the Geshurites, nor the Machathites, but Geshur and Machath live within Israel to this day. Only he gave no inheritance to the tribe of Levi. The offerings of Yahweh, the God of Israel, made by fire are his inheritance, as he spoke to him. 
Moses gave to the tribe of the children of Reuben according to their families. Their border was from Aroer, that is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the plain by Medeba, Heshbon, and all its cities that are in the plain, Debon, Bamoth Baal, Beth Baal Mian, Jahaz, Ketamoth, Mephoth, Kiriathaim, Sibma, Zareth Shahar in the mount of the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Pisgah, Beth Jeshimot, all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses struck with the chiefs of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zur, Hur, and Reba, the princes of Sihon, who lived in the land. The children of Israel also killed Balaam the son of Baor, the soothsayer, with the sword, among the rest of their slain. The border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben according to their families, the cities and its villages. Moses gave to the tribe of Gad, to the children of Gad, according to their families. Their border was Yazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, to Aroer that is near Rabbah, and from Heshbon to Ramat Mizpah, and Bedanim, and from Mahanaim to the border of Debir, and in the valley, Beth Haram, Beth Nimra, Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon king of Heshbon, the Jordan's bank, to the uttermost part of the sea of Kinnereth beyond the Jordan eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad according to their families, the cities and its villages. Moses gave an inheritance to the half-tribe of Manasseh. It was for the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh according to their families. Their border was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og king of Bashan, and all the villages of Yer, which are in Bashan, sixty cities. Half Gilead, Ashtaroth, and Adre, the cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, were for the children of Machir the son of Manasseh, even for the half of the children of Machir according to their families. These are the inheritances which Moses distributed in the plains of Moab, beyond the Jordan at Jericho, eastward. But Moses gave no inheritance to the tribe of Levi. Yahweh, the God of Israel, is their inheritance, as he spoke to them. Joshua chapter 14 These are the inheritances which the children of Israel took in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed to them, by the lot of their inheritance, as Yahweh commanded by Moses, for the nine tribes, and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of the two tribes and the half-tribe beyond the Jordan, but to the Levites he gave no inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. They gave no portion to the Levites in the land, except cities to dwell in, with their pasture lands for their livestock and for their property. The children of Israel did as Yahweh commanded Moses, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came near to Joshua and Gilgal. Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kensite said to him, You know the thing that Yahweh spoke to Moses the man of God concerning me and concerning you in Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses the servant of Yahweh sent me from Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed Yahweh my God. Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land where you walk shall be an inheritance to you and to your children forever, because you have wholly followed Yahweh my God. Now, behold, Yahweh has kept me alive, as he spoke, these forty-five years, from the time that Yahweh spoke this word to Moses, while Israel walked in the wilderness. Now, behold, I am eighty-five years old, today. As yet I am as strong today as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this hill country, of which Yahweh spoke in that day, for you heard in that day how the Anakim were there, and great and fortified cities. It may be that Yahweh will be with me, and I shall drive them out, as Yahweh said. Joshua blessed him, and he gave Hebron to Caleb the son of Jephunneh for an inheritance. Therefore Hebron became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kensite to this day, because he followed Yahweh, the God of Israel wholeheartedly. Now the name of Hebron before was Kiriath Arba, after the greatest man among the Anakim. Then the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15 
the lot for the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families was to the border of Edom, even to the wilderness of Zin southward, at the uttermost part of the south. Their south border was from the uttermost part of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looks southward, and it went out southward of the ascent of Akrabim, and passed along to Zin, and went up by the south of Kadesh Barnea, and passed along by Hezron, went up to Adar, and turned toward Karka, and it passed along to Asmon, went out at the brook of Egypt, and the border ended at the sea. This shall be your south border. The east border was the Salt Sea, even to the end of the Jordan. The border of the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the end of the Jordan. The border went up to Beth Hoglah, and passed along by the north of Beth Arabah, and the border went up to the stone of Bo and the son of Reuben. The border went up to Debir from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that faces the ascent of Adummim, which is on the south side of the river. The border passed along to the waters of En Shemesh, and ended at En Rogel. The border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the side of the Jebusite, also called Jerusalem, southward, and the border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the farthest part of the valley of Rephaim northward. The border extended from the top of the mountain to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border extended to Baala, also called Kiriath Jerim, and the border turned about from Baala westward to Mount Seir, and passed along to the side of Mount Jerim, also called Chisalon, on the north, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed along by Timnah, and the border went out to the side of Ekron northward, and the border extended to Shikaron, and passed along to Mount Baala, and went out at Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. The west border was to the shore of the great sea. This is the border of the children of Judah according to their families. He gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh a portion among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of Yahweh to Joshua, even Kiriath Arba, named after the father of Anak, also called Hebron. Caleb drove out the three sons of Anak, Shishai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. He went up against the inhabitants of Debir, now the name of Debir before was Kiriath Sefer. Caleb said, He who strikes Kiriath Sefer, and takes it, to whom I will give Oxa my daughter as wife. Othniel the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Oxa his daughter as wife. When she came, she had him ask her father for a field. She got off her donkey, and Caleb said, What do you want? She said, Give me a blessing. Because you have set me in the land of the south, give me also springs of water. So he gave her the upper springs and the lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. The farthest cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the border of Edom in the south were Kabzil, Eder, Jagger, Kena, Dimana, Adada, Kadesh, Hazor, Ithnan, Ziph, Talem, Bealoth, Hazor Hadada, Kerioth Hezron, also called Hazor, Amam, Shema, Molada, Hazar Gada, Heshman, Beth Pele, Hazar Shul, Beersheba, Bizyothiah, Bala, Um, Ezem, Eltalad, Chesel, Horma, Zeklog, Madmana, Sansana, Labaoth, Shealhim, Ain, and Rimen. All the cities are twenty-nine, with their villages. In the lowland, Eshtol, Zora, Ashna, Zanoa, Enganim, Tapua, Enam, Jarmuth, Adulam, Soko, Azaka, Sharim, Adetham and Gedera, or Gedorothame, fourteen cities with their villages. Zenon, Hadasha, Migdal Gad, Dilion, Mizpah, Jokthiel, Lachish, Bozgath, Eglon, Cabin, Lamam, Chitlish, Gedaroth, Beth Dagon, Nama, and Makada, sixteen cities with their villages. Libna, Ether, Ashan, Ifta, Ashna, Nezeb, Kela, Oxib, and Moratia, nine cities with their villages. Ekron, with its towns and its villages, from Ekron even to the sea, all that were by the side of Ashdod, with their villages. Ashdod, its towns and its villages, Gaza, its towns and its villages, to the brook of Egypt, and the great sea with its coastline. In the hill country, Shamir, Jutir, Soko, Dana, Kiriath Sana, which is Debir, Anab, Eshtemo, Anim, Goshen, Holon, 
and Gilo, 11 cities with their villages. Arab, Duma, Eshan, Janum, Beth Tapua, Afika, Humta, Kiriath Arba, also called Hebron, and Zyre, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel, Ziph, Judah, Jezreel, Yachtim, Zanoah, Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages. Halhul, Beth Zur, Gedor, Maaroth, Bethanoth, and Eltakan, six cities with their villages. Kiriath Baal, also called Kiriath Jerim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midan, Sekakah, Nibshan, the city of Salt, and En Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah couldn't drive them out, but the Jebusites live with the children of Judah at Jerusalem to this day.